Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing in my room, we are going to be looking at a project I made, how I put it together, how I got it all working basically, and it's also AC electrical basically, but be careful when you're working on any type of AC. And you gotta say, Chris, what have you been working on lately? Well, I've been working on these, basically. This is called a ground fault interruptor GFCI outlet. Now, you cannot use this outside, but you can use it inside for temporary power. And basically, it's on a 25 foot uh, extension cord. And it's just a temporary solution for basically uh, different things. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you the wire diagram using different types of tools to see if we got voltage and making sure we wired it the correct way. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I think it's kind of cool. Interesting. Yeah, I say, Chris, you can just go out and buy a power strip from your different local stores. You don't have to make something like this, but that's true. But honestly, I love putting things together, basically. But let's go ahead and take a look at this um, extension cord here. It's 14.3, basically. Of course, your ground pin is right here. Your heart's on this side. And of course, your neutral is on that side. We are going to go ahead and test the voltage uh, on it by using a multimeter like this one. Pretty interesting little unit to use. Not difficult, should I say. But I like working on stuff. I think it's kind of interesting to build it and basically make it however you choose. Alright, see if we have it on. There's your voltage. Pretty cute. 121 volts. Not too bad. And time to check it as well with my outlet tester. All good. Now, because this is a GFCI outlet tester, you can test your GFCs too. Now, of course, because this is on a extension cord, it can only do temporary power. It's not a permanent solution, but you can mount it somewhere, but be very careful. But basically, on the unit here, you have your ground, your heart, and also your neutral. Your small one's basically your hot. Now you're gonna say, okay, so you trip this, does the power uh, is dead? Well, power is dead here, but your cord is still basically alive. Now if we reset that and pull the plug on it, it's no power to the unit anymore. But do yourself a favor, just be careful. But let's go ahead and crack it open and show you the wiring this is just a single outlet this is not a two gang outlet or anything this is just a single one and you can get all the parts down at your local lows where you decide to make cool hobbies or anything now you gotta say chris why do you use metal instead of plastic well i use metal for a couple reasons, because I think it's a little bit better than trying to use plastic materials. And it's also a lot stronger too. Sorry, it's taking a couple minutes to get these screws out of here. Of course, that thing is wired very, very nicely, should I say. My heart's on this side. My neutrals on that side, of course, the ground, and also bonding of the box as well. 
Kind of cool. I say, Chris, why do you go through this extra step of making this unit 100% safe? Well, got news for you. I like to make sure any of my projects are 100% safe before I start using them. It will go wrong if you don't know what you're doing. But yes, I use metal because it's also a stronger and it's not easy to break like plastic wood. But of course, using an extension cord is okay for temporary use. And of course, I have my strain relief right here. Of course, very tightly down. And of course, this is a 4x4 junction box. And you're going to say, Chris, why do you have uh, three ground cables? Well, I'm going to explain. I have one main earth cable. I have a ground going to the grounding screw. And plus, I have a non jumper cable going to the GFCI outlet itself. Basically, you got one hot and basically one neutral. But yeah, this is just a single outlet. Of course, it has your test function as well because it's a ground fault interrupter. But anytime you're going to be working on this type of stuff, you should get yourself a nice set of tools, basically like a multimeter and a nice outlet tester to test it out when you are done wiring it. Now, you got to say, Chris, why do you need to go through all of this? And when you then can go out and buy one. It's already pre-made. You can do that, but I like building things by scratch. It's a lot of fun. Well, you gotta say, Chris, why are you so dang smart of working on electrical projects? Basically, if you do it very safely, you're not going to blow anything up, or you're not going to catch anything on fire, just long if you can figure it out and do it the smart way. On a extension cord, is three different types of cables. Okay, you got your ground, you got your hot, and plus you got your neutral. Now, if you're going to be monkeying around with a circuit panel or trying to add a new circuit, I would recommend that you get a professional electrician to come out to your home or business to run a new circuit for you. But you can't just do it yourself, but you're going to say, Chris, why do you do things yourself? Well, I like learning about it. Instead of having somebody else do it for you, you can basically do it yourself. Say, for example, replacing a light socket on a lamp or making these temporary power uh, plugs right here. But you're going to say, Chris, you didn't really need an outlet. You could have just replaced it with one of those own uh, outlets, uh, plugs for it on your extension cord. That's true, but I like the idea of plugging two different devices in. But basically, this is just an accessory. You know, just plugs in your traditional uh, wall. Now, of course, this is a 15 amp uh, circuit, by the way. You know, it's on an extension cord. But just be careful when you're also working on electrical. It can be quite dangerous. If you don't feel comfortable working on it, get a licensed electrician. But if you guys and girls are growing your channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share. Peace out, we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. And be safe on electrical.